Hello guys, I hope you are doing very well. In this basic tutorial, we will be working with an Arduino Nano version 3 and a, a motor driver, DC motor driver or a stepper motor driver, DRV8833. You, this can control and drive one stepper motor or two DC motors. So now we have only one uh, coreless 8520, I guess. Um, DC motor and then here we have a volume a potentiometer I use this uh, 10 kilo ohm but you can also work with 5 kilo 1 kilo or whatever you have a lithium polymer battery and a bunch of jumpers and uh, wires so the goal of this project is to be able to control the speed of this DC motor using this uh, potentiometer and then this project will be the same in the next project, which is the control of a very complex quadcopter. Okay, uh, I've placed this Arduino and the driver on this breadboard. Now I will place it here. I think if I zoom it a little bit, That's even better, you can read the name of the pins. And uh, we need to have a power supply for this volume. So five volt to this pin. Actually, I need to connect it here to be able to, yes, it's okay. And then the middle pin, will go to an analog input, for example, analog input number three. You can also work with other analog inputs. The middle point. And then the left one to the ground. Okay. And here on this driver, we have four inputs and four outputs from input number one, input number two, three and four, and also we have outputs. Input number one and two control outputs number one and two, and inputs number three and four control output number three and four. I'll be using with number three and four here because uh, it is closer to the Arduino and I need to connect both of them to two digital inputs or digital outputs actually of the Arduino. For example, input number four goes to like digital number five. And uh, number three goes to like six. This is input number three, which goes to digital input number six. And also we have a pin EEP, which is enable emergency protection because I'm gonna just make a very simple test project. I'll connect it to um, five volt. So this is high at the moment, but in your main project, you can connect it to a digital pin and using your logic, you can change from low to high. If you want to have a normal protection, just set it to high. And if you want to have a emergency stop, you can work with low. So you can connect it to one of these digital pins. At the moment for a simple test, I will connect it to a five volt directly. And uh, the motor itself goes to output number um, three and four. The polarity is not important here because uh, the motor works in both directions, just swap between um, cables and directions, just number three and now number four. Should be careful. 
careful. Number four, and this is number three. Now it's fine. And I'll connect the battery. Remember that your power supply, which is the battery, and uh, the Arduino must have a common ground. So this goes to the ground. And to five volt or VCC, uh, not five volt, actually VCC because because it is one cell battery and this is 3.7 volt. Now I, I'm gonna work with, actually if I find a black jumper, yes. I'll make a common ground. Let's find another ground and this is a ground. Okay, everything is fine. Just connect it to the computer and program it. It's quite complicated here, complex wiring, but if I uh, show you the map, it is very, very simple and you can do it yourself. Okay, here is our very, very simple pin. As always, here we have our pins. I defined pin number six digital pin number six of the Arduino dedicated to the input number one of uh, the driver and the same applies for number six. And um, here in the setup part, I set both of those pins as output. In the loop part of the program, first I'm reading the value for the volume. This is a, a value, this is a parameter that I defined here as an integer and then I mapped the value because I'm reading analog pin number three, which is the volume, and the value is from zero to 1023 because this is an analog to digital converter. And uh, I want to map it from zero to 255, which is the value for PWM. And um, by changing these pins, for example, if the first one is PWM and the second one is low, the motor goes in a forward direction. And if you set the first one to low level and the second one to PWM, the direction of the rotation will be reversed. And if you set both of them to low level and then this is like a break. But remember that in a quadcopter we only need one direction as I've written here. So you don't need to switch between, for example, once uh, the PWM goes to pin number one and the next time goes to pin number two because we don't want to switch the direction. Um, so input number one is always the PWM and number two is low because we don't want to change the direction. Uh, a very, very simple code. Um, tools port number three because it's connected to port number three and uh, this is Arduino Nano from here Arduino Nano and uh, old bootloader but it depends on your Arduino uh, by the way I click on upload and it takes maybe a couple of minutes then everything's done done uploading now let's try and see the result. Okay guys, now everything is done. I've also programmed the Arduino and the battery is connected. I will hold the motor like this so you can notice when I change the value of this potentiometer, the speed of this plate will change. Now it is very low. You can also notice the sound coming from the motor and the noise of the blades.
Okay, I hope you liked this kind of video. It was a very simple video, motor control video. And um, this is very basic. You can work with this simple task in your quadcopter. This is the way that, uh, uh, actually the simplified way that you can control each motors in your quadcopter. Uh, in the next project, we will be working with the quadcopter and we will increase the difficulty and we will make it more complex. And uh, let's see, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.